Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the uh, the Redivis, if that's how you say the RT76P, and this is a long-range GMRS portable two-way radio. Now, I got this about a year or so ago, and um, I was trying to use a repeater with this, and unfortunately, it wasn't keeping the uh, CTCSS codes. It would let you change it, but... Um, it wouldn't stay, so let me go through that. All right, so we're gonna hit the menu, and then we're gonna move to um, the CTSS, and um, here we go, use the RX. So what you would do is press menu again, right? And then uh, you can move it, whoops. I have to click it. Okay, so that's highlighted now. And that's at 141 point. Uh, it, it goes out of the screen quickly. So what we're going to do, do that. And then 146 and then press it and that holds it in. But before, it wouldn't do anything. And um, so I did a firmware upgrade. I'm going to show you how to do it. Also, let me show you one other setting that it helped. And that was the bandwidth narrow or wide and uh where is that let's see if we can find it bandwidth here we go okay so before you wouldn't be able to change it out of narrow it would stay there and see how it now stays let me hit it again and then with now keep in mind when you go into the menu make sure you're on the channel that you want to make adjustments to so right now we're on uh we're on one of the channels used for the repeater, 462, uh, 62500. And as you noticed, um, that's the receive part of it. You press the transmit and you'll see 467, uh, 625. Okay, so there's also a channel number here, right? And um, also you have the option to display the frequency <clears throat> or the name to channel or to have a channel number. And this shows... It's kind of like it'll it'll have uh, kind of like a dual band where if you want channel 20 up here and channel 5 down here, you can switch easy by just hitting the AB here on the exit. See how it's jumping? And uh, I'll show you quickly how to do that. Let's see. And you have to act pretty quick because it goes out of the menu quick. All right, MDFA, that's the top one. So we set it to frequency. Okay, and then MBFB, that's the bottom one. I set it to a channel number, so you can do it whatever works for you. Right now, I was just looking at the repeater systems that I joined up with here in the, in the New York City area, <clears throat> and it's easy to just look at the frequency. Okay, so I'm going to show you step by step, and I'm going to switch to my dex desktop. And we're going to go to a Redivis site. Now, this is a Mac that I'm using, a Mac Mini. But unfortunately, you can't use the software on a Mac. So I have this piece of garbage, Windows HP, that I bought brand new a few years ago. And it was slow as anything when brand new. So, of course, it's super slow. I, I just reinstalled Windows. It's got Windows 10. So I'm going to show you uh, how to find the firmware on the site and then I'm going to show you the process. What I'll do is I'll, I'll redo the firmware on my radio um, and it's just a reinstall. It, it shouldn't really mess anything up. So here we go. Get the drivers. What we're going to do is go to the redivis.com site. Um, I used to be able to type in on the search bar the model number but that doesn't work for me. So we're going to go to consumer and then GMRS consumer radio scroll down and you'll see the RT76P click on that and then up here on the top you'll see support and click on that and over here you'll see firmware software if you don't have the brochure you can download it there so um, I actually downloaded all this and this is a Windows 11 driver. I actually 
downloaded this and installed it even though I have Windows 10 I wasn't too sure because I, I use this computer not this one but the uh, the other Microsoft one like once a year okay you have the software to program I downloaded it couldn't get it to work but here's the firmware okay so I just downloaded it to my Mac it's not gonna do any good unless I send it to my PC so what we're gonna do is switch to my PC right now and I'm gonna show you the process on how to hook up the radio and how to do the firmware upgrade on the PC. So here we go. All right, so here we go. I have all the files there. I got the fir firmware, the software, and the driver. Um, you're probably just gonna be interested in the firmware. And as you see, it is three zip files and three unzip files. You're gonna have to unzip them. Um, I have a little touchpad, actually, if you hit it, with two fingers you should see extract all all right you hit that and then it will have the, the folder down here without the zip so what you're going to do is click on the firmware right and um, it's going to show these three files and what you're going to do is open up the bootloader but before we do that i'm going to show you how to connect the radio so let's do that now hopefully you've got the cable which I should have mentioned in the beginning and uh, this came with the set when I ordered the radios from Redivis and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna plug it into one of the radios okay and um, on the side here we're gonna pull this down and then we're gonna stick this in, okay? There's two pins, the fatty goes on the bottom. We're gonna push that in all the way, okay? And then uh, we're gonna lay that here and then plug the USB in and Windows might take a while to see it and automatically upload a driver for that which it did when I plugged it in. And uh, let me get out of this HP stuff. Oh, I can't stand HP. Uh, do not send data. Is this, these computers have so much bloatware. Let's get out of that. I, I just love my Mac computers. Sorry, PC guys. Okay, now we are going to turn the unit on. Okay. And then we're gonna open up the bootloader. So I'll click on that. And let me do a little zoomer in there. Wait for that to get in focus. Okay. All right, so over here, we're gonna look for the bin file, okay? It's over here behind us, but when you click on that, it should show it right away. So here's the bin file, bin X. So we're gonna click that, select it, and put it in the upgrade box, right? And then over here, um, it should just show one COM port. It's three on this. Basically, when I was first plugged this in and loaded up the driver, it, it, as it was installing, it showed a COM port three, so I remembered it, but I think you should only have one to choose from. Okay, so we're going to select the COM3, right? Let's get this into picture. And we're going to click down here, Update. Okay? And then you're going to see the display on the radio go Firmware Update. Let's see if we can focus on that. There we go. Okay, and then the percentage you'll see here. And then it's going to complete with excitement, put the exclamation point, and uh, the radio resets. And then you should be able to change um, your CTCSS codes and the bandwidth and maybe a couple other things. I think it, it gave a few extra things for the menu. And um, so what's the version this is? Uh, no, um, what is it here? 
that's not the version. It's like 1.5 something. Anyway, so that's how you do that. And um, so there you go. Good luck with your Redivis two-way radios. And um, you know what? As a bonus, let me uh, um, turn this off, unplug this, and I'll show you how to set. Actually, that'll be a, a, a separate video on how to set the CTCSS codes for a particular frequency, okay? So if this helped you out, appreciate it. If you click the like button and, um, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.